Now we all need more plants in our diet and Earth Day is the perfect time to start. Here are my top five plant-based recipes for this Earth Day. Watch this. Here's how I turn five pounds of fruit scraps into a nice, delicious herbal tea. Watch this. First, I like to rinse off all of my fruit. Now I shop at the farmer's market for my fruit, so I know that stuff's been sitting out all day. So I gotta give it a nice scrub, get any type of dirt, debris, whatever, off that skin, and then I like to slice it up just like this. Use whatever fruit that you want, but I always, always like to have pineapple in this, a little bit of apple, some grapefruit, whatever fruits you want to use, even some vegetables. I just had some carrots left over, so I added those skins to the scrap pot right there. You can even use the stems from your strawberries. The banana peel goes right in that pot as well. Nothing goes to waste. Now bring a large pot of water to a boil. Then start adding your fruit scraps right to that boiling water. Once everything gets nice and situated, you want to add something a little extra. And that's the Vital Spice Daily Blend, which is an all-natural herbal seasoning that includes black pepper, turmeric, ginger, mint, basil, and so much more. It's great for your immune health, improves digestion, and it's perfect for this tea. Grab that Vital Spice from UncleDibs.com. Let your tea simmer on low for 20 minutes and then strain it just like this. The best thing about this tea besides the taste is that it's going to have your home smelling absolutely amazing. I like to drink mine over ice with a little fresh lemon squeezed on top. You can get this full recipe plus more wellness recipes in the link in my bio. That's good, Shorty. Have you ever wanted to make pasta sauce from scratch but didn't know where to start? Unk's got you covered. I'm showing you how to make a one pot pasta sauce without any salt. Watch this. In a large oven safe pan, add your tomatoes, bell peppers, onion, garlic, and then some fresh herbs like rosemary and thyme. Cover all that with olive oil. And then for flavor, I'm using that BB salt free. All the flavor you need without all the added sodium. Get it from UncleDibs.com. Roast that at 320 for 40 minutes, and then this is what you get. Next, we're gonna add all those roasted veggies to a blender. Make sure you take those tomatoes off the stems. Go ahead and squeeze your garlic cloves up in there, and then take all those fresh herbs off the stem too as well. Blend everything until it's nice and smooth. Just look at those colors. Meanwhile, I got my pasta boiling on the stove. Use any pasta you want, just make sure it's al dente. Store your homemade sauce in a mason jar, or you can use it on your pasta right then and there for dinner tonight. To get this full recipe, visit the link in my bio. That's good, Saudi. Nobody got time to catch the flu, so make sure you try this ginger sot smoothie before you do. Now look at this weather forecast. Now look at the temperature on Sunday, 88, Monday, 50 degrees. That's a recipe to get sick. So that's why I'm whipping up my ginger shot smoothie. You see, I got my fresh ginger, some orange, and I'm also gonna use some lemon too as well. So now it's time to start blending all this together. Grab my blender, I'm gonna add some coconut water, and then I'm gonna follow that up with some fresh kale. Next, we're gonna add those fruits, that orange, that lemon, add your ginger, and then a little bit of honey. But most importantly, do not forget this, the Vital Spice Immune Boost. This is a natural seasoning packed with vitamin C that enhances your wellness while also safeguarding your immunity. You can get it from UncleDibs.com. After you're done blending, pour yourself a glass and then give it a sip. Full recipe in the link in my bio. Stay safe out here, y'all. That's good, soda. This is a comment I see a lot. It's too expensive to eat healthy. Well, look, all this fruit right here and veggies, only 60 bucks, and I got it right here from the farmer's market. First, let's talk about the benefits from buying from the farmer's market. Not only do you support local farmers in the economy, but you also get the freshest in-season produce that's often way cheaper than what you'll find at the grocery store. Plus, it's grown without harmful pesticides and chemicals, so you're doing your body a favor too. But here's some tips to save money at the farmer's market. First, you need to make a list. Don't go in there without a list because you'll be all wide-eyed and start buying stuff you don't need. So make a list. Next, buy produce that's in season. Seasonal produce is cheaper. 
It has a shorter distance to travel, so it's fresher. Also, don't be afraid to ask for a deal. A lot of the times the vendors, if they see you buying in bulk, they'll go ahead and cut you with some slack, maybe take a couple of dollars off and you'll be able to save because you can't do that at the grocery store, trust me. Also, this is a really, really good tip. Go at the end of the day during the week. So when I went, it was around 5 p.m., you know, close to 6. I think the farmer's market closes at 7, it opens at 7. But the later you go in the day, the more they're just trying to get that fruit and vegetables off their hands and into yours so you can get way better deals. I primarily use my fruits and veggies for smoothies. I like to mix them all up, put a little bit of my Vital Spice, which you can get from UncleDibs.com for some extra nutrition. Mix it on up, give me a nice, delicious smoothie to start my day. Yes, health is wealth, but that doesn't mean you have to go broke. That's good, Saudi. Here's a look at the ingredients you need for this delicious soup. In a large Dutch oven, add your tomatoes, garlic, onion, jalapenos, and basil. Hit that with some olive oil, and then for flavor, use that BB salt free. All flavor, no salt, throw it in the oven, 480 for 30 minutes. Once it's done, go ahead and remove the garlic skin, cut the stems from the jalapenos, add four cups of veggie broth, one can of coconut milk, and give it a nice mix with an immersion blender. My blender died on me, so it gave me time to make a little grilled cheese while it was charging. That's good, shawty. That's good, shawty.